Hello, I'm Laurel House. I'm a dating expert and coach on Ease Famously Single. When it comes to texting and dating, be very careful. There are do's and don'ts. Here are the texting do's. Number one, guys. Text to confirm your date, time, and location the day before or morning of by saying, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow at x at x p.m. Two, ladies. Text the day after the date to say thank you, regardless of if you liked him or not, because the fact is he paid and you need to say thank you. Just say thank you so much for dinner and drinks last night. It was really fun hearing about your trip to Peru. I'd love to see you again soon. What you're doing in I'd love to see you again soon is you're inviting him to ask you out again. Number three, if your date is scheduled for more than four days out, text in the middle, so by day two, saying, I hope you're having a great day. I'm looking forward to seeing you on X day. Number four, use text as a way to schedule a phone date. If you have over one week between seeing each other, a phone date is perfect in the interim. That phone date is called a date because you're actually scheduling a time when you're going to be physically and emotionally present for a one hour conversation. Number five, make your texts actionable. If you both want to see each other again, guys, make sure to say, I would love to take you out again. What night next week works? How about X, Y, or Z? If you don't make it actionable, then you get stuck in the going back and forth thing with, I'd love to see you again. Yeah, that would be great. Or I had a great time. Yeah, me too. And then what? Number six, if he or she texts, saying, hi, how's your day? Respond with something interesting that illuminates something about you and lends itself to a talking point on your next date. Like, I'm having a really great day. I just had an interesting meeting with a new client. I can't wait to tell you all about it on our date. I hope that you're having a fantastic day too. What you're doing in that response is setting up a camp conversation starter for the date while simultaneously discreetly saying, I don't want to get to know you over text. This is not the method of communication that I want to engage in. Texting can be the make or break of your relationship. Don't let it break your relationship. Don't text every day. Don't do the regular check-ins until you're actually in a relationship. It can be annoying. I'm going to go over all of those details in another video. You can learn more about me on my website, laurelhouse.com, where you can learn about my dating coaching and how you can work with me.